Hey, Will, how are you? I'm good, thanks. You want to tell us about this marvelous sculpture you've just finished? Yeah, yeah, I can talk about it. So, this is, this is a piece that I conceived for Buffalo Creek, uh, and it was an opportunity to make something quite substantial um, uh, on my own, effectively. So normally if I make something big, I have, uh, have to work with a team of fabricators, because I don't really have room for something like this um, at my studio. Um, so it's been a fantastic opportunity to, you know, to see what I can do on my own on a large scale. And um, so the, the, basically the form itself is, is a, it's an, it's an oval that's twice as high as it is wide. So if you, I've drawn that oval and then I've just spun it through 360 degrees to get myself a, a solid form. And then I've split it into 10 layers. So each layer is a, is a foot high, so this is a layer from here to here. Uh, and basically, so, it, so it's a stack of 12-sided polygons. So you can see what I'm standing on is the first polygon. And as I go up through the layers, so each of these stages here is another polygon that's drawn to match the oval. And so as I, as I come up, the, the polygons uh, get bigger and then they obviously they get smaller at the top but they rotate through six degrees uh, at each level which is what gives me these twisting shapes so the fact that each polygon is slightly off gives me these lines which then start to make the form interesting and dynamic uh, and the other thing the thing that really cracked this piece for me was realizing that i could create one set of triangles which are, are quite gentle and smooth and then another set, which are much more dynamic, which give it this twist. So there's a sort of feeling as you move around it, or if you're inside it, you can sort of feel these kind of lines, um, which are to do that I guess if you have, you know, we follow lines to get an experience of form. And so because these, these are pointed and sharp, they kind of create a dynamic swirling effect, uh, which is kind of the idea behind it all is that it's like a sort of vortex, so, so like a twister or, or some kind of whirlwind. Uh, so that, that's, that's the kind of general gist of what I'm trying to do here. Well, that's great. Uh, well, you came from uh, quite a distance to do this, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I've come from the south coast of England, so Sussex, which is, uh, you know, very different to here. It's real soft and very green. So I've come into this sort of dramatic landscape and I, I I feel, I feel pleased that the work itself seems to correspond with the mountains and the landscape and the colours, you know, this kind of, this really deep ochre red. It just seems to work, it worked with, with the surroundings. And that was a patina that you did on mild steel, correct? Yeah, so this is mild steel um, and where the process was, first of all, obviously build it, but then grind all the welds to sort of smooth all that out. And then uh, we got a blasting guy in, so a big guy, sort of guy with a sandblaster uh, and a spacesuit. So they, they took all the surface into this sort of matte condition. And then I applied a mix of water and vinegar and salt. Uh, and that kicks off the oxidization. Well, that's, that's terrific. Well, this is going to be a great addition to the Buffalo Creek Art Center Sculpture Park. And I want to thank you. Great. Yeah, well, thanks for having me. It's been great. <laughs>